everyone, this is Craig Reese with Hollywood Junket, and I have the winner of The Voice Season 19 right here in front of me, Carter Rubin. Congratulations. Thank you. I still don't believe it's real. I have to like, watch it back every now and then and make sure it actually happened and I'm not yes. just in a crazy dream. So oh my goodness. You. It's been about, it'll be one more day to the week that you were announced. How has this last week been going for you? It's been pretty insane. Like I'm, I'm home now. I flew home mm -hmm. and like everyone has been, I don't think people fully recognize me because we all have to wear masks outside and stuff, but people <laughs> have looked at me like, um, like a little like, Hmm, who are you? Like, it's been, it's just been, it's been so funny. And like the whole experience has been really rewarding because, um, you know, Gwen's been such a phenomenal coach and I got to sing on the same stage as many talented people like uh, the other four finalists, Dez, John Holiday, Ian Flanagan and Jim Ranger. They're all so talented. I have such respect. They're like role models for me. Um, and so this whole experience has just been like a once in a lifetime experience, like a dream come true for sure. Well, you did such a good job and I'm sure I already told you this, but I was a fan from the beginning from your blind audition. But I got to tell you, when I saw you perform with Gwen that last night, I was like, he's the winner. Like, this is a star. You were so calm. You were so charismatic. Like, I don't, I, there's no way I, I could have been that chill. So I'm just so proud of you. And yep, that's when I knew. Thank you. Winner. <laughs> I think the thing with that performance was just, I wasn't nervous at all. I was just excited mm -hmm. to perform with Gwen, who we know each other by now. And I wasn't really nervous for that one, which is why I think I was able to perform the way I did, because it was just a fun, lighthearted Christmas duet to kind of make people happy and get people in the spirit. And me, we both had so much fun with that duet. I had so much fun singing it. It was like, it was the best. <laughs> yeah, oh, it, it, it looked great. And thank you, I appreciate it. And an awesome season. Uh, so when your name was announced, I could tell Gwen wanted to hug you so bad and she couldn't. Oh, well, it was so hard. I mean, I'm sure a million things were going through your head right then, but especially that, like wanting to hug your coach, not been able to, how did that yeah. make you feel? Um, it was a little sad, but at the same time, we had built a, such a close bond. It's like hug or not. We were like air hugging and we just yeah. knew, uh, we kind of wanted to win for each other. Gwen wanted me to win for myself and I wanted to win for her because she's such a phenomenal coach and I really wanted to give her her first win that she so deserves. And, um, it happened and we were both in shock that night. We went to go do some press at the interview place and we were both just like in complete shock. Um, and we were just so happy. So yeah, yeah, that, that performing with her, that was awesome. And it, yeah, it was so good. And yeah, no hug, but it was still it was a friend for life, a coach for life. That's so cool. I wanted friend to- for life. Yes, yes. So who are some of the contestants from the show that you will continue to remain friends with and maybe even perform with or record stuff with? That's hard because the, the adult artists I look up to, with, I have such respect for them because they're so seasoned and skilled and they know exactly what they're doing, what they want to do. And they've treated me like I'm one of them, which was so nice. They've just been so supportive of me and so inspiring. But I think throughout the season, the ones that were, the other minors, the ones closer to my age were, um, I'm not going to miss anyone, it was Skylar, JC, Mia, Lariah, Lauren, and Bailey. Uh -huh. I think I'm not missing anyone. Those were the ones who made it past blinds, and um, we had built such a close relationship, and it's been so amazing getting to know them. Uh, we definitely are going to have to perform together someday. They've just become such... Like, I feel like I've known them my entire life, even though we only met back in July. Um, they're just like, I feel like they're just like my best friend. They're like my crew. And it's just, it's been so awesome getting to know them. They're such, they're obviously amazing singers, but they're such amazing people as well. Absolutely. Specifically, Lariah, like y'all's performance together was amazing. It really looks like y'all developed a great friendship. So I'm, I'm hoping to sure see did. a single sure with y'all too. 
We, we, I, I got a text her. We got to record something soon. It's actually funny. The first, like one of the first nights we met, we were like in the courtyard singing like a little like duet together. And we were going to our moms. We were like, we have to sing a duet together. I don't know how, I don't know when, but it will happen. And then what are the odds yeah. that we sit there together? <laughs> it was so much fun. She's so incredibly talented and we're definitely going to keep in touch. What's next for you with your title, with your winnings? What's, what's 2021 going to look like? Um, Gwen told me that it's time for me to start writing some songs and I definitely agree. She said it's time to just start writing stuff like now is the time to discover really who you want to be as an artist and that's definitely what I plan on doing. Um, I've been I've been actually working on some stuff writing some stuff and when 2021 comes around I definitely want to get in the studio start recording um, start you know putting music out there for people to hear and once COVID is over, I want to perform in front of live audiences again. And I know a lot of artists want the same thing too, because there's nothing like the thrill and adrenaline you get from performing in front of a live audience, like how you guys feed off of each other. Like that's like an unmatched feeling. It's kind of hard that we haven't gotten that in a while, but that's definitely one of the things we all want to do. And I just want to like, my dream of mine is just just be like one of these some of these a-list artists you hear of today like some i definitely want to go down the pop contemporary lane some artists like luz capaldi sean mendez harry styles ed sheeran those are some of my big influences as a singer and i really want a future album of mine to sound like them so i would expect good things oh i'm 100 percent on board for all of that like please yes please do (laughs) i'm there for it Well, Carter, I will let you go. First, thank you so much for dealing with our technical issues and Instagram. I'm. I apologize about that. Thank you for doing. Don't apologize. Technology (laughs) is out of our hands, but I really appreciate you still making this work, especially so close to Christmas. So I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We'll be in touch with in the future. I love talking with old contestants when the new season starts up. So I'd love to have you back for a recap or something like that. Absolutely. I'm so excited for season 20. Awesome. Well, congratulations. You did such a great job. You're an inspiration for especially a lot of teenagers. So congratulations on that as well. And have a great 2021. And we'll talk to you soon. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Happy holidays. You too. You too. And gang, that'll wrap it up for us. This is Craig Reese here at Hollywood Junket. That was the winner of season 19's The Voice, Carter Rubin. Remember, all of our videos are here on our YouTube channel, so you can always check them out there. But until next time, have a great end of 2020, and we'll see you soon.